Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Late last week, in my part of the world, Microsoft rolled out the latest dev and beta channel inside of preview builds. And once again, for last week, both builds were very similar to each other, give or take, so more or less a mirror image of one another. Now, the builds for last week were interesting because there was a bit of a mix and mashup of new features, bugs, and changes. And I'm just going to highlight a couple for the purpose of this video. And the first is Microsoft says that last week's flight comes with what they call in a delightful blast from the past and will play the Windows Vista boot sound instead of the Windows 11 boot sound and they're working on a fix. So that is a bug for both builds. And Microsoft has this officially to say over on X. Brandon LeBlanc from the Insider program says, I went in and had some fun with the sound files in Windows and thought folks needed a blast from the past. You did say how much you loved Vista. Now I think it's he's saying that tongue in cheek because Vista, um, you either liked it or you didn't. And just a quick reminder, this is what the Vista startup sound sounded like. Now, I think this is Microsoft's kind of job and jest at Apple. Because as you may well know, because last week, Apple introduced Mac OS 26, which had the new liquid glass redesign, which I think many were considering to be a kind of a copy to some extent or the other, a poor copy of Windows Aero from the Windows Vista and Windows 7 days. So I think Microsoft mentioning they added the Vista sound to those builds. I think they were just taking the mic out of um, Apple and with the startup sound being introduced as a bit of a joke. Now, another interesting development just to mention is I've posted on this previously where Microsoft is bringing back the bigger clock with seconds in the notification center in Windows 11. And this is actually a highly requested feature and I still don't know why Microsoft pulled this um, when Windows 11 rolled out. It seems that Microsoft pulled a lot of features in Windows 11 and over the last four years has slowly been introducing um, Windows 10 features back into Windows 11 because of user, users' negative feedback. And Microsoft says this is a highly requested feature from Windows 10, the option to show a bigger clock with seconds above the date and calendar in the notification center. And what we're looking at here is the clock showing in Notification Center with the calendar both collapsed and expanded. And I think it's just a matter of time before this makes its way back into the stable version. And the good news with this feature is there will be a toggle in settings under Time and Language, Date and Time called Show Time in the Notification Center which you'll be able to turn on and off when this does roll out to stable, which I like because I like it when Microsoft gives us options for features. So some may like this, some may not. So you have the option to turn it on or turn it off, which I think is a move in the right direction. And then over and above those two interesting changes, which are my main focus for this video, Microsoft did introduce the new AI agent in settings for Copilot Plus PCs. And I have posted a video on the AI agents in settings asking the question, useful or privacy and security risk video will be linked. And that's only available for Copilot Plus PCs and will let you describe what settings you want changed or configured using natural language in settings. Check the video out for more info. I'm not going to rehash all of that. And then over and above that, guys, most of the other features rolling out are rolling out to the Copilot Plus PCs, not your so-called regular PCs which are your normal things like updates for recall and click do and so on. So not going to get into that in this video. So interesting, interesting stuff going on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.